<laughs> Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Decisions. My name is Weasel and I decided I'm gonna check out one of those story games. I just can't get enough of episode. So we're just gonna go to one of the other story based games. One of them being Decision. This one's called A Naughty Proposal. I already like this. Let's go ahead and play this. If you wanna see more of those kinds of games, make sure to check out Greystall Place. He does, he does great videos on episode. So I guess we get to make our character. Looks like I'm playing as a lady. I don't even know what those clothes are. Where am I going? I feel I shouldn't be wearing this if I'm going to the club. Or this if I'm going to a funeral? Wedding? Maybe? I mean, it's black. And what is this? Sure, this looks the least offensive, I guess. I have no hair preferences. Sure, why not with this bob cut? Name? Sophia? I don't think so. Snurgle. That's the name to fall in love with. Madison and Fitzaw. Ooh, where are we? This is a snazzy place. The law firm of Madison and Fitz... <laughs> Despite your efforts, you're five minutes late. I mean, who are we? Are we a Line? Because I'm pretty sure that's fine then. Oh my god, not again. I'm so going to get fired this time. Oh, you work here? You said you had everything under control. What happened? I'm five minutes late. Also, is this what you're wearing for like a big law firm? Just jeans? Okay. It's a pretty laid back place. My class ran late. Then I had to run an errand and I had some car trouble. Wait, do you go to school or do you work at a lawyer's office? Wh who are you? Are they mad at me? Am I going to get fired? You're five minutes late. Chill. I told him you were visiting your grandma at the hospital. Oh my god, stay. Stacy. Yeah, I'm visiting my grandma, and that's why I'm five minutes late. Okay, sure, Stacy. Good job, Stacy. Best excuse. Stacy, you know I don't like it when you lie about my family like that. It's bad karma. Oh, we're bringing karma into this. Oh, so you rather tell them the truth? Okay, give me the saucy truth. Um, no? Then I believe the words you're looking for. Thank you, Stacy. I owe you. Big time. Wow, Stacy is a... Thank you, Stacy. Stacy gets a message on her phone. She looks concerned. Hold up a second. Boss man wants to see you. Wait, which boss man? Madison or Fitz? <sighs> the hot one. I haven't seen either of them. For all I know, one of them is a hamster. Neither are hot. They're my bosses. I don't see them as hot. Oh, now you're having standards. Five minutes late, but can't have an opinion on that. I can't believe you're not attracted to Lucas Madison. He's not my type. I call Bull. He's hot, rich, and powerful. He's everybody's type. Wow, Stacy. Well, whatever it is, he wants you in his office ASAP. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Snurgle. <laughs> It'll be fine. Come in, Snurgle. Man, you, you don't look any day over 20. Good afternoon, Mr. Madison. Apologize or distract him. Uh, let's distract him. Is that a new suit? Italian? Yes, though, quite frankly, what I wear is none of your concern. Ooh, wow. You're quite the hard ass. I'm going to cut right to the chase. I have a special assignment for you, but I'm warning you, it's a bit unconventional. Ooh, Lucas. Uh, oh my. You'll be sworn to absolute secrecy. You're going to make me sign an NDA or are we gonna do just like a pinky promise thing? Absolute secrecy? I'm intrigued. I'm concerned. Does it matter? Can't we be both? Well, I'm intrigued. Sounds like something daring and top secret, like in the movies. <sighs> Snurgle. Snurgle, I need you to take this seriously. I can guarantee you that you're not living out a movie. Of course, my apologies. This Saturday marks the wedding of Paxton Bayers and Zia Landrix. And Zia Landrix is my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> wow, his face. That, man, that sad poppy looking face. Are we gonna be his date? You need a date to the wedding. Are you asking me or suggest the date? Are you asking me? Yes, I'm asking you to go to the wedding with me. I don't know if that's a good idea, mixing work and our personal lives like that. Who are you? What are you doing? I'm asking you for your help here and your discretion. Yeah, who could just say no to these puppy eyes? Okay, I guess. How hard will it be? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, not full flaccid, not fully erect. Well, there's one more thing I should tell you. Okay. I'm a cyborg from the future. Please, please, please. You wouldn't be just my date. You'd actually playing my girlfriend. He went from serious to sad puppy to predatory. What? Girlfriend? We'd have to come up with a story about how we met and how long we've been together. Why though? We'd have to agree to a little PDA. Public display of affection? Wow, okay. I'm pretty sure this is starting to be illegal. There's one thing to ask your employee to go to a wedding with you. Also questionable. But now you want to make out with her? Mr. Madison. Snurgle, you should probably start calling me Lucas. Because if you don't, you'll be fired. Lucas, I don't know if I can pretend to be your girlfriend. I can't fake it. <laughs> it's unprofessional? Hell yeah! Yes, it is. It blurs the line between boss and employee in a way that I'm not comfortable with. I understand, but I'm going to be a lawyer too. 
two next year. I can't have a reputation as the girl who dates their boss. Okay, so you are... So you're an intern. Wow, they both look really angry right now. And I don't want to be the boss who dates a subordinate. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I also have to admit that I buried the lead here. Huh? If you agree to play the role of my girlfriend for the wedding and the event goes smoothly, you will be rewarded. It is a quid pro quo! Are you kidding me? How so? I will have you styled by one of my favorite clothing designers. Appealing to a woman's vanity, are you? Secondly, I will pay you $10,000. Holy shit, my dude! You could just hire an escort. What? And that would probably be more legal and cheaper. I don't want to be known as the guy who dates his subordinates. I want to be known as the guy who exploits his interns. $10,000? One day? Yes. Take some time to think about it. I will, but I will need an answer by tomorrow morning. Let's talk then. What if I say no? You get home, ready to collapse. I'm overwhelmed to begin with. I'm a full-time law student and a legal aide at a law firm. Finally, I know who you are. Finally, I know. And now I've got to decide whether or not I'm willing to fake date my boss. It's $10,000. I'm pretty sure he's expecting something more than fake dating. You get a text message. It's your mom. Snurgle. Honey, how are you? I'm okay, mom. Are you sure? My mom's smoking. It's just a, she's 60 packs a day. Everything's fine. I don't believe you, Snurgle. Not with a name like that. I know you're overworking. Okay, I'm a little stressed, but my schedule will only be like this for the rest of the year. You'll do it, sweetie. I have faith in you. <laughs> Thanks, mom. How are you doing? I didn't want to tell you this, but I got laid off last week. What? Meet me at Cooper's in half an hour. You get ready to meet your mom. Man, what shall I wear to the cafe? Is it really important? You're meeting your mom. I can wear my standard clothing. Yeah, this seems like a reasonable dress to go. Why did I all of a sudden get longer hair? How did that happen? How is this appropriate on any day? It's moderately cute and comfortable. And it's not like mom cares what I wear. Yes, thank you. Snurgle. Oh my goodness. You look amazing. I'll have a peach iced tea and a pack of Marlboro. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about your situation. There are a few other banks in the area. Maybe you should apply there for a job. I have, and I have a few interviews lined up this week. That's awesome. There are no guarantees. I know. Between your sister's tuition and the alimony payments and the car repairs I'd done last month, I'm stretched pretty thin, just like my lung. <laughs> and then the school called and told me that they think Donna needs glasses. I just about screamed if I had lung capacity. <laughs> Mom, I can help you. I'm happy to lend you some money. I have some savings. I can snurgle. I can take your savings. It would be a loan. Even still, you need a rainy day fund. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. You let out a heavy sigh. You wish that you could just get your hands on some money, like $10,000. I guess Lucas is the answer. Sure, that's that's your go-to. I, I don't I don't understand. Why what? Why is there a woman holding a baby? Is the baby gonna die if I don't rate your game positively? Man, this this kid just looks baked, doesn't it? You spent the entire night weighing the pros and cons of Lucas' offer. And now it's time to face him. <sighs> now what here says I'm a confident lawyer? Well, you're 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 not. This doesn't really look like lawyer to me. I don't know about you. I guess this one is the closest. No, I want I want Lucas to know what he's getting into. I'm the girl that only has one dress. You check the time. I realize you're running late once again. All right, I'm ready to give Lucas your answer. If the answer is not, hey, Lucas, how about you give me those $10,000 and I'm not going to tell anyone that you would pay me to pretend to be your girlfriend to your lawyer buddies. That'd be great. Good morning. Be casual or be formal. Oh, we're professionals. Mr. Madison, please call me Lucas, snurgle. It'd be weird to date someone who calls me a mister. Hey, I haven't agreed yet. Take a moment to compose yourself and speak up. I've agreed to your terms. What? I guess I don't have a choice. I will pretend to be your date to the wedding for $10,000. Wonderful. But I have some conditions too. I expect nothing less. Please have a seat. I've taken the liberty of drafting a relationship agreement. You hand Lucas the document you drew up the night before. This is extensive. Oh, you think you could just take your little grubby sausage fingers without signing a contract with your own blood? No, it's not. Well, at the very least, it's well thought out and pretty much covers everything. What did we write in there? I like that you composed a backstory for us. Yes, for all intents and purposes, we made it a company function. Good story. Yeah, I mean, also since I work at the company, it would be really fucking weird if, you know, it's romantic. A company function? That's so romantic. Christmas party. We boned on the copy machine. It was love at first thought. So romantic. We can say we made it at the Christmas- <laughs> I called it! And it was standing under the mistletoe or something. Yeah. Hmm. You sure? I'm not sure, but I guess she is. You went a bit overboard there. Really? Under the mistletoe? Is that everything you wanted to talk about? I think so. Okay. So what about the public display of affection part? Are we not going to address that? I'm going to help you through this wedding, Lucas. I promise. Poor Lucas. Poor, poor Lucas. Thank you. You had your hair and makeup done and ready to choose an outfit. I don't want to choose my outfit. Let me show you a few options. Jesus. <laughs> I like that there's all these dresses that I can pick. 
Like, or I can just go with my regular dress. I love it. This is nice. Don't worry about it. I don't need a special dress for this. This is, this is fine. It's the same thing I wear for the last four weeks. Come on, honey. Lucas Madison is paying for it. No, he wasn't. He wanted me to spend my hard-earned coins. You meet Lucas at the church. A few heads turn as Lucas takes your hand and leads you inside. They're staring at us. I know. No one expected me to attend this wedding. Then why did you? Right. I can't let anyone think I'm not over Zia. As the two of you take your seats, you can't help hearing the whispers. They're talking about us? It's not all about you, honey. Yes. Want to give them something to really talk about? Oh my. What? Let me kiss you. Shouldn't we have agreed to this before? Are you just having this conversation in church while people are like literally next to you? Okay. On the lips, on the cheek. I mean, he paid $10,000. I guess I'll give him the cheek. I'm not ready for a real kiss yet. <sighs> I understand. Lucas gives you a light peck on the cheek. Oh my god, did I just feel something? Maybe? Is there an actual spark here? I mean, there's quite literal sparks all over the place for whatever reason. No, that's just the thought of getting $10,000. No, that's just a feeling of knowing that you can blackmail your boss. Finally, you get to see this woman in the flesh. The woman who broke Lucas's heart. I don't- Am I supposed to care? You watch as Zia makes her way down the aisle. She looks beautiful. Remain cool. Feel insecure. Oh, we're so cool. That's a nice dress. Knowing Zia, it probably costs a fortune. Besides, you look amazing too today. I like that you're still wearing the same dress you wore for the last few days. The minister's starting to get to the vows. Do you, Paxter, take Zia to be your lawfully wedded wife? Man. I do. And do you, Zia? I do. Didn't even let him finish. That's kind of rude. You look over at Lucas. Give him a moment. I mean, he looks happy. Yeah. Stop talking during the wedding. Lucas looks down at the floor. I wish I knew how to comfort him. Oh, honey. There's a lot of things you gotta learn. Paxton, Zia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Do it. Just before Paxton leans in to kiss Zia, you can see her look at Lucas through the crowd. The way she looks at him nearly sets fire to the church. Or all the candles that are just laying around. OMG. She wants him. They're getting married right now. What, what, what else do you want? You instinctively, without speaking a word, kiss Lucas. What? Why? Instinctively. Um, Snurgle, what was that for? Zia's looking at you. She doesn't look happy. I'm pretty sure she doesn't give a fuck. Um, uh, I'll explain later. Man, worst wedding date. They're holding the reception. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Zia has impeccable taste. You sure talk about Zia a lot. I mean, it's her wedding after all. Well, it's her wedding day after all. Told you. You know what I mean, Lucas? I'm sorry, Snurgle. I'm sorry, Snurgle. Who's paying her? So, are we going to talk about that kiss? What kiss? Don't play dumb, Snurgle. The moment during the ceremony where you grabbed me and kissed me like your life depended on it. Oh, that. Yeah, that was rude. Be frank. Make an excuse. Okay, I want I want to hear the justification myself. Lucas, right before Zia went to kiss Paxton, she looked at you. Ah, uh, so... She looked at you like she wanted to devour you. Really? She still wants you, Lucas. That's why she's marrying another man. I know, because I can judge people by a single look. You and Lucas sip your drinks and listen to friends and family toast the happy couple. As the evening wears on, you notice Lucas watching Zia. I'm going to get another drink. You leave Lucas and head to the bar. An attractive man is pouring drinks. Well, hello there. Is it just me or do they all kind of have the same face? Women and men. Just, it just weirds me out. Well, hello, having a good time tonight? Be forthcoming. I am, but it's kind of stressful. No, how is a big, beautiful wedding stressful? Oh, I did not mean it in that way. I'm just teasing. What can I get you to drink? Uh, like a Shirley Temple, please. Come on right up. Hooray. So how long have you been a bartender for? Do you have any other plans in life? Or do you always want to be a bartender? I'm a law student. About four years. I started when I was, I don't know, 13, 12, 10? I have a gig on a cruise next week. It's going to last 10 days. That sounds fun. It's work. What do you do? I'm in law school. No big deal. Oh, one of the smart ones I see. You could say that. Ooh. Is that how you and your boyfriend met? Make up a story. Answer truthfully. Are we gonna break our NDA? Actually, we met at work. And between you and me, he's not really my boyfriend. You know that you should be more guarded with total stranger. But something about the bartender's kind eyes and warm smile tells you that you can trust him. Wow. Are we gonna hook up with the bartender? What's next? Are we gonna hook up with the bride? What's your name? Rice. Rice? R rice? Is that, that how you say that? And yours? Snurgle. There you are. Sorry, I was just talking to Rice. Lucas and Rice size each other up like they're competitors in a boxing match. Ready to go? Yes, nice to meet you, Rice. You too, Snurgle. Lucas drives you back to your apartment and comes up to drop you at your doorstep. Uh, man, I'm really loaded if this is this is the floor to my apartment. I had a great time tonight, Snurgle. Me too. Lucas leans in and kisses you. You're startled, but eventually ease into it. Sorry, I hope that was okay. Not really. What is happening here? I mean, we're not at the wedding anymore, so no, not really. I mean, but maybe warn a girl next time. Or just, you know, don't just kiss a girl. Of course, wouldn't want to violate the contract. Did the contract state anything about after the wedding? Are we gonna pick clothes again? Well, at least I won't be looking like I'm trying too hard. No, you're you're gonna look like you only have one dress. Thanks, Snurgle. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. You're welcome. Where are my $10,000? I need another favor. An even bigger one this time. Oh, boy. Zian and Paxton have
Jeff decided to take a 10-day cruise for their honeymoon. And they have invited several powerful couples along, including us. Just don't go, dude. Not everyone can just, oh yeah, no, I'll just go on a cruise for 10 days and just drop everything. Why would you invite them after the wedding? I'm prepared to pay you $100,000 for your time. Holy shit. Holy moly. That's a lot of cash. But let's play hard to get. Maybe we can milk more out of him. Be uncertain. I don't know about this. You're smart to be hesitant. But I really need your help here. Hmm. I just know that the charade will be trickier than the wedding. We'll have to play a couple 24-7. Dude, if you want to go on a date with me, just ask me. This is getting ridiculous. We'll also be sharing a room. Express discomfort. Yeah, let's be clear here. I just I just want to know how far he's going. I don't know if I'm totally comfortable with that. I understand, and I'll do everything I can to make this easy on you. If someone says, I'm uncomfortable with this, you don't say, I'll do everything I can to make this easy on you. You say, oh, okay, I guess not then. I think Lucas doesn't know what no means. Paxton is a powerful man. He can tank medicine and fits you if you want to. What? How? Oh, probably because he has dirt on you because you pay interns to kiss you. Whoa, the stakes are high. I'm stressed? Yeah, I'm stressed. Fuck that noise. It's a lot of pressure. I understand, but you're tough. You can handle it. How much more clear uh, does she have to be? I'm uncomfortable. I'm stressed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can handle it. Dude. We'll see. I assume you'd want to draw up another contract. You You bet. You assume correct. Lucas smiles and then a turn makes you smile too. No, it doesn't. It creeps me out. I'm glad you find my need for paperwork amusing. Using. It's charming, Snurgle. Draw something up and we'll talk then. Ugh. You reach home and call Stacy for help with the contract. Really? You want to make this public? You want to meet at Stacy's apartment. And of course I'm going to wear the same damn clothes. Wow. Are you telling me I can just wear this? That's just, I'm just, I'm just straight up wearing lingerie. God, these sets are so stupid. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear this. This is, this is perfect to see my friend. Confidence is key and I ooze it right about now. I'm pretty sure what you're oozing there is yeast. I'll impress Stacy and draw up a killer contract. Why, why are you trying to impress Stacy? Why? Why are you even talking to Stacy? If Stacy doesn't say anything but that's a horrible idea, you should not do this. She's a horrible friend. Lucas asked me to pretend to be his girlfriend for his ex's wedding and he paid me 10 grand to do it. Now we got invited to a cruise together and we have to play a couple the entire time. Whoa! We have to share room and everything. Oh, the hardship. You have to go on a luxury cruise with a hot man. Stacy, I know you don't have standards. That doesn't apply to all of us. It's not funny, Stacy, and you can't tell anyone. Don't worry, Snurgle. Don't you trust me? Uh, no, no. You're hard to trust. Yeah, you're very hard to trust. You've been known to do anything for some good gossip. What she's saying is, you a hoe. That was one time. You're still a hoe. I know, but seriously, you can't tell anyone. I understand. You and Stacy write up the contract. You still look uncomfortable. The whole fake dating your boss for money thing. Yeah, of course it is. I don't know. It feels weird. It's wrong. Well, let's face facts, Snurgle. You became an escort. You definitely need this money. Why do I need $100,000? I already got 10000 Why do I definitely need this money? I mean, yes, don't get me wrong. Everyone needs money, but come on. I know. So what's the holdup? Are you not comfortable? Comfortable with just selling yourself out like that? Take take an example from me. I don't give a fuck. Just then you get a text from mom. Snaggle, are you there? I'm behind on the mortgage. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the house. Wait, you lost your job last week. I mean, be sympathetic. I'm so sorry, mom. I'm at the end of my rope. Ugh. It'll be okay. How long do you have to get the money together? Till the end of the month. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Snurgle. I love you. That's not how mortgages work. You can't you can defer payments. They're gonna work with you. How long has this been going on, mom? Love you too. Looks like you know what you need to do. Or yourself out for some money. Why the fuck am I looking at? Well, the decision was kind of made for me. Oh, I'm still wearing this? Holy shit. How so? Open up. Yeah. Let's tell him that we're so hard pressed for cash that we're doing this. Just to make it abundantly clear how wrong this is. I just have a little financial trouble. So I'm desperate allowing you to abuse me with your money. It's my mother. Oh, my mother just told me that she's bound on her mortgage. That's unfortunate. She works so hard. But between alimony payments and caring for my sisters, she's at her limit. I totally understand since I didn't grow up wealthy. Man, the hardships you must have faced. My parents worked two jobs each till my mom died. It's been my dad and I ever since. You're astounded. You didn't know Lucas came from such humble beginnings. Uh... Barf. Wow. I definitely thought you were some rich kid. He's paying you a hundred thousand. If it all goes according to plan on this trip, I will make sure that your mother and sisters get to keep their house. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Well, you're paying her a hundred thousand dollars. How is that not enough? Man, this is so wrong. This is so messed up. You don't know what comes over you. You throw your arms around Lucas and hug him. But until then, we have to keep it professional. What are you talking? 
talking about? This is the least professional thing I've ever seen. It's the morning of the cruise and mom comes over for breakfast. You haven't told her everything about the trip. Uh, so how long are you going to be gone away? <laughs> it's a 10 day cruise with my colleagues. It's a work trip on a cruise. Make sure to get some time to yourself so you can smoke cigarettes like your mom. Wait, where's my skank outfit? I don't want this. Game took away my skank outfit. All right, I'll, I'll take this. Yeah, 10 days on a cruise wearing the same thing. That's fine. Lucas said I could wear anything, so I decided to wear this thing. And at least it'll be comfortable. Hi, Lucas. Lucas kisses you hello. Is kisses getting a little bit more familiar? Why are we... Why are we kissing? Hi, sweetheart. Oh, right. We're doing this thing. Sweetheart? A pet name. You don't like it? I don't like it, but I mean, I guess it's fine. I'm more concerned about the kissing, but then again, I don't friggin' know. I guess it's okay. Do you have a preference? Baby? Darling? Angel? <laughs> sweetheart is fine. Are you nervous? A little. About what? Embarrassing you. Embarrassing myself. How about you sexually assaulting me? But sure, embarrassing myself. I'm just worried I'll be out of place in these high society situations. He introduces you to all of the other couples traveling with you. You see Zeon, Paxton approach. Lucas, hello! Zia air kisses Lucas in both cheeks. You look good. Thanks, Zia. You do too. My wife's a beautiful woman, isn't she? Sure, and you remember my girlfriend? I'm Snurgle. Nice to meet you again. Likewise, what a lovely outfit you're wearing. It only reeks a little bit of cheese. Where did you get it? Oh, yeah. We got it at the thrift store. Mmm, yeah. It was a great find on one of the sale racks. You're sure Zia is going to judge you for your thrifty tastes. You never know what you're gonna find there. Exactly. I thought Zia would be more snobbish than that. <gasps> Maybe. Maybe we misjudged her just based on zero interaction we had with her before. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you shouldn't be doing any of this. Hey, why don't you two get a table on the deck? Pax and I will get us some drinks from the bar. So Zia, Lucas tells me that you're a lawyer too. What kind of law do you- Okay, Snurgle, we can drop the act now. Wow! She got angry! What act? The act where we're nice to each other and get along so well. I was hoping we would get along. Yeah, not gonna happen. I want Lucas back. That's why I married another man. That's how- that, that's how you get them back. Back. Are you serious? You just got married. I know. It was a huge mistake. Weren't you the one who broke up with Lucas in the first place? Biggest mistake of my life. But I'm not worried. I always get what I want. Okay, she's absolutely insane. But so are most people in this game. Wow, that's... Uh, I mean, you gotta give it to her. That's confident. It takes some real guts to think that. And probably a lack of medication. Especially since he's dating someone. Snurgle, you underestimate how deeply he loved me. You have no idea. Oh. <clears throat> Lucas, you're back. So am I, darling. Here are your drinks, ladies. Yes, and thank you for the drink. Lucas, Snurgle and I were having the most wonderful conversation. Oh, what about? Oh yeah, let's spill the beans. You. We're talking about you. All good things, I hope. Oh, absolutely. Snurgle, Lucas mentioned that you're in law school. Which one? Stay on scholarship, I'm assuming. I don't want to give Zia any more opportunity to mock me. Excuse me, Zia, I'd like to go to my room. I'll take you to our room. Lucas takes you to the cabin you two will be sharing. It's elegant and beautiful, but you're too stressed about what happened with Zia to enjoy it. Are you okay? No, Lucas, I'm not. You don't see it, and I know you still have feelings for her. But Zia is an awful person. I know she's a difficult person to deal with sometimes. No, you don't understand. As soon as you and Paxton left, she turned into a completely different person. And she was terrible towards me. I'm sorry, Snurgle. But we can't hide in the cabin for the entire trip. I know. But a little catnap won't hurt. Yeah, I think I need a few hours off. I'll take- Yeah, I'll take the couch. That seems reasonable. I insist. No, please take the bed. I feel like Lucas is pulling away from me, and I don't know what to do about it. Why do you care? Why do you care all of the sudden about this? He's paying you a hundred thousand dollars to pretend, and I thought that's what you're doing. Wait, what? Well, well, there's Matt. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? All right, I'll do one more chapter. I gotta know where this is going. Oh, the bartender. I'm- I was one Wondering when he would show up again. The next morning, Lucas asks you to join him for breakfast. He that's down to grab a table while you look through your wardrobe for the perfect. Of course, we're looking for the wardrobe for the perfect outfit. It is this outfit. This is the perfect outfit. With everything going on, I just want to look like myself. Wait, I lean in to kiss Lucas on the cheek, on the lips. I don't know, man. Let's let's go with the cheek. Hope that's all right. Of course, still feeling a little down, a little, but it all bounced back. I was worried about you. I feel overwhelmed. Yeah, this was a horrible idea. It seemed like you didn't believe me when I told you about Z. I'm sorry, I do believe you, but that's not what I paid you for. She's gorgeous and smart, but she's also quite manipulative, and she'll stop at nothing to get you back. Like marrying another man. Are you worried? Not at all. Not at all. I just want my hundred thousand dollars and I'll be out of here. And you shouldn't even be, because I'm here with you, not her. Oh no, look who's coming our way. Paxton and Zia. So what are you planning on doing today? Well, I was thinking of going to the- I was talking to Lucas. You bitch! Well, as Snurgle was saying, we were thinking of spending the day by the pool. I thought we were going to check out the casino. Oh well, it's so nice 
nice and sunny, but I want to gamble my money away. Stick to your point or compromise. No, I'm gonna stick to my guns. We're going gambling, honey. Lucas, you promised me. I know, but it's not a big deal. People breaking promises to me is a big deal. You know, I don't think I'm up for any company right now. I'm just going to go down to do my own thing for a bit. Wow! Doing a great job being, being batshit crazy. I'll come with you. No, I think I'm going to have a Shirley Temple at the bar. It's eight in the morning and I'm gonna get drunk. You can't stop me by myself. I mean, that's what you do on the cruise. You just eat and drink. That deserves expert level clean. Get him a sandblaster for his teeth. That'll do the trick. You make your way to the bar and are shocked to see a familiar face. <gasps> Stranger. Snurgle? What are you doing here? I'm... It's a long story. I went on the cruise and now I'm here. I can't believe you remembered my name. Well, I remember the pretty ones. Ooh la la. Oh my god, he's definitely flirting with me. Flirt back. Oh, we're flirting back. You bet. Well, I remember handsome bartenders too. Good to know. And I remember your drink too. Shirley Temple, right? Spot on. Everything okay? You look a little stressed. Also, you're drinking at 7 in the morning. I'm fine. You're also drinking in the morning. As, as I was saying, I'm on vacation. Yeah, back off, mom. Come on, tell me what's wrong. I'm a bartender after all. You think I'm just going to tell you all my problems? Well, he is a bartender. I'm a bartender. It's part of the job. This writing is so transparent. Fine, I'm on this cruise with my boyfriend. Fun. And his ex. Less fun. And her new husband. Plot thickens. And she wants him back. <gasps> Whoa, let me make you something stronger. Like what? Like two Shirley Temples? Yes, please. Get me drunk, you stud. As stiff as possible. The drink also, please. Just so you know, I'm not advocating solving your problems with booze, but I am make giving you more alcohol to solve your problems right now. I know, but if it makes the morning easier, I'm game. I guess I should be getting back to my table, but it was nice talking to you. I feel good to feel normal for the first time on this trip with alcohol cursing through my veins. Just then, you get a text from Stacy. We're on a cruise. I don't know if you guys been on a cruise, but getting reception on a cruise ship? Pretty hard. You'll never guess who just called and left a message on your work voicemail. Why are you listening to my work voicemail? I don't know. Well, I'll never guess, so just tell me. With that attitude, you're lucky I do anything from you. Wow! Man, I'm grumpy grumps. I'm sorry. I'd be so lost without you. And don't you ever forget it, was it? Harbinger and Combs. Oh my god. Apparently that interview last month went better than you thought. Why, why did I do an interview at a different comp? Okay. Yay! I called them and told them you're away for the next 10 days. But you got to be in Harbinger's office at 9am next Monday to start your new job. How's that gonna work out? Stacy, how can I thank you? Okay. If it's next month, Monday. Wait, to start your new job? I went to an interview and then just like, yeah, you gotta be there to start your new job. That's how that works. Yeah, where you don't have to sign anything, you just have to be there. Why are we switching companies apart from the boss being pretty predatory? See if Mr. Madison has a rich friend for me. I'm sure Lucas will pay you just fine. You know what? You definitely, definitely. I wish there was someone I could celebrate this news with. I guess I could invite Lucas out. Even though he's my boss, I'm sure he'll understand how important this is to me. What? I don't understand. You, you, you want a job at a... <laughs> why? Also, why... <laughs> Plus, he's been super sweet. Yeah, let's tell him that we're quitting. Or I could take a chance and ask Rice out tonight. Man, you are the worst conspirator. But sure, I'll I'll ask Rice out. He's cute and funny, and what does it matter if I date someone else on the boat that I'm pretending to be someone else's date for? It's really nice not having to fake anything around him. I'm only being paid $100,000 for those 10 days. I think I know who I want to pick. What? We already get to pick? Well, I'll go for Rice just because I want to see this absolute train wreck unfold. I can't wait. I know I'll have a good time with rice. Oh my god, the story just keeps on going. Anyway, guys, that was it for this game. I forgot the title of But if you guys want to see how this keeps going, I mean, I'm not opposed to just keep at it. Seems that we made it halfway through, and if you guys want to see more, just let me know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, you know the drill. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bow, 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 bow,